Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Carson Kelly Games Podcast. My name is Carson Kelly, and today we will be recapping all of what has happened in the month of April, which is a lot of things, from Carson Kelly Publishing to um, some behind-the-scenes stuff that I will be sharing with you all today here on the fourth episode of the Carson Kelly Games Podcast. So, to start off the month on April the 5th, um, Carson Kelly Publishing, my publishing arm, officially announced the release of Starfall Cross Lovers, and we also released two unboxing videos to go with it for the book, Starfall Cross Lovers, and it was officially announced that day, and it has gotten some good feedback, both internally and, and yes, yeah, overall good feedback from the book, from the announcement and such, and all the blogs and stuff, so that's very, very awesome, and I'm happy to finally get that out to the world. Um, yeah, the book will release on Friday, May the 5th. Pre-order is now available worldwide. You can get it in ebook version, a hardcover copy, paperback version, and an audio version, which was just announced a few days ago as I am recording this. And yeah, just a few days ago, we also released the big, the last major update before the 3.0 update. So the website has now been updated with the 2.99 update and it's a very big one it includes the launch of the starfall cross lovers landing page where you can learn all about the characters maya xander zig zara and vega very exciting characters and i can't wait for the world to dive into their stories it's very very exciting stuff happening at the carson kelly publishing over 30 projects are in development at carson kelly publishing as i talked about briefly last month one of those projects also I just decided to uh, move forward with, which is, um, which might be a little surprising to some, but I decided to uh, can a project recently. Well, it's not technically canned because it's it's in the working now, just in a different form of media, and that is the confirmation of Talking Dogs Into the Wilds VR, which was announced as a VR game and very much planned to be a VR game for the PlayStation VR 2. Uh, I will also talk a little about the PlayStation VR 2 community in a few minutes, especially on Reddit. They have given me a big headache this past week. But hey, it's okay. Um, Not everybody will like what I put out in the world or like what I have in the works. But hey, it's cool. Some of the feedback on there was nice. There was a couple of small nice comments I saw, which I appreciate. But yeah, Talking Dogs Into the Wilds VR, the VR exclusive that was planned... For the PlayStation VR 2 is now being turned into a full length novel. And will be releasing next spring in the year 2024. And I can't wait to share more with you guys on that. Definitely this June. With the official cover reveal. And first details on when you can pre-order it. And a formal release date for the Talking Dogs Into the Wilds book. Which stars Kelvin the Golden Retriever and... His uh, Martian sidekick named Harper. Now, don't get me long. Playing this in VR was awesome. But when I was playing it, it just did not feel right for VR. In a sense where I got a little dizzy myself. And a, a small headache um, when I was playing the um, the VR version. VR 2 version. So yeah, I was a little bummed out about how it turned out. And I was just like, you know... Not everybody has a VR headset yet or has the money to put one out. Why not just turn this, the, the, the already awesome story that I built for the PSVR 2 for Talking Dogs Into the Wilds VR and put it into a more physical form of a full-length novel. And I feel like that was the best decision for that project. And as the direction goes, the story, more content and more story is being developed for this story specifically for the novel. Because it was around 4 to 8 hour game in length. So that's a lot of story you can get through. But now I'm happy to turn it into a full length game. I mean a full length book, sorry. Um, I'm a bit lo- I'm a- I lose track of my words and stuff. So I'm sorry about that, guys. But yeah, Talking Dogs Into the Wilds VR is now officially a full length novel. And it will be released next year, next spring. In 2024, in various formats such as ebook, audiobook, um, hardcover, and paperback across many different platforms and digital retailers. And yeah, for now, we will move on to the next topic, which is pretty much just catching up on everything. 
What am I doing behind the scenes to make Carson Kelly games great? Well, every day I'm working on the various projects. As you know, there is a ton of them. And I get a lot of feedback and a lot of hard fire on that. But hey, I love what I do and I love what I am creating. And I love doing these podcasts, even though sometimes they're short and a bit long and I lose track of my words, which happens a lot. I am very happy with what I am doing with Carson Kelly Games. It is growing. A lot of partnerships have been formed secretly. And a lot of things are getting locked in for the future. Because I always have to look ahead. And when I when I lock down a release date, which is a very proud moment, which some a lot of release dates did lock in. I will confirm that today. Multiple release dates are confirmed and locked in for various projects with partners. My one partner, um, my biggest partner, Sony Interactive Entertainment, they have been great. And they've been very helpful throughout many projects of mine, large and small. And collaborative projects as well that are very, 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 very in their early stages. So I am happy to confirm that. But now back on topic. Behind the scenes and everything, everything is going good. The 3.0 website, it's remarkable. I love it and I like how I am very consistent with the website and making sure it performs well. I don't know whoever's listening out there if you ever seen what the website looked in 2021. But the website has came a long way from its 1.0 version to the big 2.0 launch in December of 2022, which is roughly five or six months ago. I am terrible with math. <laughs> Sorry about that, but it's roughly around six months ago to the date, if that, when you hear this for the first time. And I am working very hard on the next 3.0 web update. Well, the 3.0 web update is about to be done, and we're going to go live on schedule on June the 2nd at noon. June the 2nd is also the... the June 2nd is also Talking Dogs Day. Well, I will be sharing and unveiling updates on various Talking Dogs projects, including books, comic books, coloring books, and all that exciting stuff, and various other things, which I am happy to unveil and share with the world. And also, over a dozen images from the game, the big game coming out next year, I will be sharing over a dozen pictures and images from the in from the. From the, from the game itself where it's currently at. And it's a very beautiful game. I like it. Whoever's probably listening out there is probably Yeah, of course we'll say it beautiful. No. If it didn't look good, I would tell you. Honestly. And, I, and before it, it didn't look good. But it's getting better and better each time I play it. And each time I build and create it to make it better. And yeah, it's very good. A lot of textures have been a bit updated. To look more brighter and happy and colorful. Because it's a colorful game. It's, um, I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy. I am also happy to confirm that in June of this year, in a few weeks from now, not a few weeks, but about a, under a month or two out from when you hear this, playtesting will be happening here at my compound, I call it. And I will be inviting family and friends and playtesters play to come playtest Talking Dogs in its current state. This will be the second major playtest that has happened. Because I also held virtual... Playtest as well, which is cool and all, but I like having feedback with playtesters face to face. Because I myself was once a playtester. I play test games for Ubisoft, EA, 2K, Activision, um, PlayStation. I play tested games for Xbox. Pretty much all the big guns out there, I play tested games for. So as a playtester from these people who have playtested, family and friends, they are told you can tell the truth. If it looks bad, it looks bad. You tell me straight. If it looks good. That's a good sign. But yeah, I'm happy to have playtesters in a few weeks from now for Talking Dog. I'm very excited about that. And yeah, I'm very, very happy with everything so far. That's happening at Carson Kelly Games. I have over 30 projects in the works at Carson Kelly Publishing. From books, comics, and so much more. It's amazing what I'm doing and I'm happy. A lot of projects at Carson Kelly Publishing are done, finished, and are have wrapped recently. And yeah, just keep pushing, keep creating ideas. Now what we're going to get into next is the website 4.0 and 5.0 updates that are now, not now, but have been in development for a long time since I talked about it, I believe, last month. Website 4.0 will launch later this year. Then 5.0 website update for CKG website will be launching in 2024 at the latest. So stay tuned for those updates later coming as well. That will include major fixes. And all the unique stuff to make sure the website is running great. Because it is a packed website. 
I also would like to confirm today that on June 2nd of this year, which is Talking Dogs Day and the big 3.0 website update for Car- for the Carson Kelly Games website, that the long-awaited Carson Kelly Productions website will be going live within the website, and it will be listing and confirming a bunch of upcoming projects under the Carson Kelly Productions umbrella. Many of the projects I have done and created many years ago, but they have been upscaled to modern day. Those projects will also be releasing exclusively and other platforms as well. Uh, Yeah, so a lot of Carson Kelly Productions projects will be releasing on the upcoming Project Brew video streaming platform, which we will talk about briefly today in detail. Because I have a lot to discuss with you guys about that. Which I am very, very proud and excited of. And that's a very, very big milestone and achievement for Carson Kelly Games as a company. Even though it's just me running the show, it, I still feel like it's a company. Even though one day there will be people on board. Beside myself. And that's something to look forward to in the future. But for now, it is just me. And I am aiming high and reaching for the stars as best as I can. Even when we have little setbacks and uh, some hiccups in the background. But yeah, I, before we talk about Project Brew, I would like to say a few words to some people out there that have had some strong words against my creative work and my visions for my games. First things first, I am sorry if the games are not for you. There are many games out there for everybody and everyone. My goal is to make something for everybody. And hey, Talking Dogs is for all ages. If you don't like it, that's cool. My um, inspiration based off Talking Dogs is various games and movies, such as Homeward Bound. Love that movie. If you've never seen it, watch it on Disney+. Plus. If you have seen it, hey, you'll probably like Talking Dogs. Uh, the Spyro games also take insp- I take inspiration from for Talking Dogs games. If you love Spyro, hey, come check out Talking Dogs when it releases next year. Um, Crash Bandicoot, many people love Crash Bandicoot. I'm hoping that one day people can look at Phil the Husky from Talking Dogs and say, Hey, he reminds me a little bit of Spyro and Crash. I don't know if we'll get to that point, but someday we might. We might. You never know. I'm not expecting Talking Dogs to be a global hit. I just can't wait for people to play it and dive deep into the world that I, rec- that I created. Um... I'm excited for people to play it, read the books, and read all about Phil. Because you're going to be seeing a lot of Phil in the months and years ahead. The plans are deep. And yeah, but another thing, before we talk about Project Bro, I would like to also say that there is a comment on Reddit that I do appreciate. I can't pull it up right now because I do not have a computer with me as I am recording this. But it was like a very lengthy uh, comment. And it said like, if I could talk to Mr. Carson Kelly... Here's what I would talk to him about. And it gave me advice on how to just work on one thing at a time. I appreciate that. It's nice. And he also had some harsh words. Not harsh words, but he had some strong opinions and words towards how I am running things. Not running things, but towards talking dogs and the trailers. Well, one, the trailers are made by me. Everything is made by me. I'm doing it all. No help whatsoever. But I am appreciative And grateful for your feedback. Because good or bad, feedback is good. And I know some of the comments on there were were very harsh. But hey, it's feedback at the end of the day. They're just expressing their hard feedback. Because sometimes you need a little tough love in this world. And hey, tough love makes the toughest soldiers or something like that. I don't know. It was a quote like that. But yeah. I do get mad sometimes at the people at Reddit. Plus, Reddit's a toxic place. But there is, there's good in everything. You have to look at the good in everything. I learned that a lot in the, in the last 20 years of my life. <laughs> I said that like I've been around for 50 years. No, I've been around for 20. But I know one day I'll get to 50. That, that'll be cool to look back on everything I did in the end. But yeah, guys, before we talk about Project Blue, I just want to say next month in May. I can't believe we're almost in May, man. This year is flying by. I appreciate everybody who listens and supports Carson Kelly Games, Productions, Publishing, and Pictures. Yes, I am doing a lot, but I'm aiming high and I am ready to execute and evolve and adapt. Hello, guys. I am sorry for the, um, I had a call come in during 
podcast recording, so I am very sorry about that. But what I was saying is, my goal as Carson Kelly Games into the future is to evolve, adapt, execute, and aim high and reach for the stars on various aspects that I am planning. Now, before I get another phone call come in, I would like to briefly talk about Project Blue. Project Blue is a video streaming platform where you can go on this platform, just like Netflix, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, and other streaming apps, and you can go on here and watch content. But the, the, but the content you will be receiving is various content from Carson Kelly Games, Carson Kelly, Pro, uh, Carson Kelly Productions, Carson Kelly Publishing, and Carson Kelly Pictures. And you will also be introduced to many various um, other content as Project Blue Exclusives and Project Blue Originals, which I am very, very proud and excited to share and talk about when we reveal the official slate and official name and official look and official release information and when you can start streaming Project Blue this June. It will not happen on June 2nd. I will tell you that now. I will confirm that Project Blue reveal has not happened on June 2nd as that is a big day already for Carson Kelly Games. And But we are aiming for a Pacific date. Well, I am aiming and targeting a Pacific date to unveil everything with you, the community, supporters, family, friends, and whoever is out there listening in the world to learn all about Project Blue. Project Blue is also in development for the Roku and Apple devices and their ecosystem, such as iPhone, iPad, iMac, iPhone, iPad, um, Apple TV, um, pretty much everything in the Apple ecosystem. Project Blue, working titles in development for it, including Roku, which I love Roku. I've been watching their TVs for years, watching content on their TVs for years, same with Apple. I'm happy to be official business partners and developing partners with both companies respectively as I believe in both of their visions for a future of entertainment. And yes, I believe there is a strong partnership with both Roku and the Apple companies. And I am very excited to adapt and grow with both companies into the future as Carson Kelly Games. (sighs) Sorry guys, I was yawning there for a second. As Carson Kelly Games grows bigger and bigger each year. With its strong slate that I see every single day into the future. I will never give up or never surrender on what I am building and creating. Because I have a strong vision for it. And I very much believe in what I am creating. I take a lot of pride. A lot of heart into this. I might be only one person. But I'm telling you now man. Aim high. Reach for the stars and blast off. Speaking of blasting off, the second biggest franchise in, in Car- at Carson Kelly Games is Starfall. We will be talking a lot about Starfall this year and the years ahead. Talking Dogs will always be the first family of the Carson Kelly Games umbrella. As Talking Dogs, I've been building for the last six or seven years on various projects, large and small. So Talking Dogs will forever be the, cha- the, how can I say this? It's like the first family of the Carson Kelly games, everything basically. But Starfall is second, and we'll be talking a lot about Starfall in the future and months ahead, especially with the release of Starfall Cross Lovers, the first novel in the Starfall series, which we'll be releasing on Friday, May the 5th. And on the Carson Kelly Games website, you can learn all about Starfall Cross Lovers on the official, um, on the Starfall Cross Lovers hub. And it tells you all about the characters and bios and all the videos and the amazing soundtrack that I composed for it with various projects of mine and various collaborations over the years. And we put the amazing soundtrack together. And I'm very excited for the world to hear that, listen, and watch. Carson Kelly Games is also very, very well in the works of a new, of a new, something new. And I would like to reveal more of that in the future as I am still learning and very heartily um, learning about this certain thing. And I am very excited to dive deep into that in the, with the world and global partners in the years to come. Before we close out the fourth episode of the Carson Kelly Games Podcast. I'd like to say thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in wherever you are in the world. 
This was a very long episode. has a lot to talk about. But I will confirm that May's episode of the Carson Kelly Games podcast is going to be another short one probably. But I will confirm that in June it will be a very, very, very long episode. As we will be diving deep into all the news across the Carson Kelly company. From games, publishing, pictures, the productions. I mean pictures, publishing. (laughs) I sometimes forget the names of my subsidiaries I have. (laughs) Because I have a lot going on these days, but yeah. My voice is going from this podcast. Let me take a drink real quick. Maybe that'll help. Alright, I feel a little better. But yeah, guys, thank you for listening. I hope you have a great day. And I I hope you have a great rest of your night, day, week, month, year ahead, whenever you're listening to this. Maybe if you're listening in the future. Um, My advice to you is, if you have a dream... Go for it, aim high, and blast off, my friends. I know last month's episode we got a little motivating, but we're not going to do that again because I went on for about an additional 10 minutes. But yeah, we're going to conclude it here. We talked about April, the month of April, and what has happened across the company, some behind-the-scenes stuff, and a little bit on Project Blue, which I am excited. Okay, I won't say excited no more because I don't want to kill the word. But yeah, I'm very ex- <laughs> I'm very happy with Project Blue working title, the video streaming platform. Um, you can learn all about it currently on the website on CarsonKellyGames.com. You can just scroll to the very bottom and you'll see a Project Blue tab at the bottom of the web page. And you click that and you can learn all about Project Blue. It's very short and sweet information so far. But yeah, I am happy to share and talk more all with you soon about Project Blue. And what's bound to come in the months ahead. My name is Carson Kelly. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I will see you next month for the next episode of the Carson Kelly Games Podcast. My name is Carson Kelly. And if you enjoyed today's episode, please rate it on your perspective um, uh, podcast platform. Whether you're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts. Or if you're on YouTube, just hit the like button. I will appreciate it deeply. Thank you very much and have a great day, everybody.